Okay, so first, this is a little off topic, but I wanted to show that if you're coming from Tinkercad like me, you might notice the camera controls feel a little off in Fusion, and it's maybe causing some frustration. Well, you can actually change that by going up here and clicking your little profile icon in the top, and then clicking Preferences. When this window pops up, make sure you're on the General tab on the left menu, then come down where it says Pan, Zoom, and Orbit, and select Tinkercad from the drop-down menu. You can also check the box next to Reverse Zoom Direction to make the scroll wheel of your mouse match the Zoom In and Out function in Tinkercad, and you can play around with the rest of these to suit your needs. Hello and welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how I made knurled knobs in Fusion 360. You can use these knobs to customize a guitar or maybe certain amps and stomp pedals, or even replace the existing knob on your 3D printer if it has one. Any knob that fits over a 6mm shaft, it should replace it no problem. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so I'm on a new project in Fusion. The first thing I did was come up here and click Create a Sketch. Then I selected a plane to start my model and zoomed in a little bit, just to make it easier to see. Next, I grabbed the circle tool and started drawing a circle from the center of the plane. I wanted this circle to be 22 millimeters, so I just dragged it out a little bit and then typed 22 and hit enter. This is essentially the bottom of the knob, and I want the knob to be 18 millimeters tall. So I pressed E on the keyboard to extrude, and then I just started to drag it up before typing 18 and hitting enter. And here we have the basic shape of the knob. I wanted the top to round over a bit, so I clicked on the outer ring, and then clicked fillet from the modify menu. I typed 3 to give it a 3 millimeter fillet, and hit enter. I could have gone higher or lower, but this will do for now. And now I'm going to add the knurl design to the sides. In order to do that, I come back to the create toolbar, and click the drop down menu where I select coil. I want this to start from the bottom and go up, so I selected the bottom plane and started drawing another circle before typing 22 to match the cylinder and hit enter. Now you can see this red coil going all the way around the knob. In order to make this look like a knurled design, I had to make some adjustments in this little settings window that pops up. So first I changed the revolutions to 0.5. Then changed the height to 18 millimeters. I changed the section from circular to triangle internal. And changed the section size to 1.5 millimeter. And this is what I was left with. Okay, so I'm about halfway there. Now I just have to come up here and drop down the create menu again, and this time select mirror. In the mirror settings, I made sure that the object type was set to faces, then I held the shift key and clicked on each face of the triangle cut to select them both. Next, I clicked the mirror plane button in the settings window, and then chose the plane opposite of my triangle cut. Then I clicked OK. And now I have a pretty cool kind of V-looking design, but it's not quite a knurl. So I came back up to the Create Toolbars drop-down menu again and highlighted Pattern so that a secondary menu will open up where I clicked Circular Pattern. In the Pattern Settings window, I again made sure Faces was selected, and then held the Shift key again and selected all the surfaces I wanted to make repeat. So, all four sides of the triangle cuts. Then I clicked Axis to select the bottom axis, and it automatically repeated to 50. But that's a little bit much for me, so I dropped that down to 10, which didn't look like quite enough. So, I changed it to 20, which looked like a little too much. I decided to go about halfway between and just do 15. Then I clicked OK. This can take a little while, but eventually it updated the model with the neural pattern. Alright, and that's it. The neural is done. Next, I had to add the holes that slip over the shaft of the potentiometer. 
And I took those measurements earlier. So I started a new sketch on the bottom plane and drew another circle from the center and made it 18 millimeters. Then I pressed E to extrude and brought it up 6 millimeters and hit enter. Now I need to add the 6 millimeter hole for the shaft to insert into, so I started yet another sketch and made it a 6 millimeter circle and extruded it up 11.5 millimeters and hit enter. All right, that's it. That's a knurled knob. I can save it right there by coming over here and clicking the arrow next to the bodies to expand it. Then I just right click on body one and go to save as mesh. Come over here to this window and click OK. And in this new window, I can name it whatever I want and save it wherever I want. But before I print it out, I wanted to customize it a little more by adding another coil, reversing it, and putting a sort of swirl in the knob which I thought was pretty cool and unique. After I also saved that as a mesh, I loaded them both up in Cura. They're printable without supports upside down, so I turned them over and sliced it. And at 180 millimeters a second, these are going to take roughly 22 minutes, so let's just start the print. Alright, they turned out really nice. The neural looks and feels really nice and adds some grip to the knob. I used red PLA just so they would show up good on camera, but you can really use any color you want. It's a nice touch, especially if you've got a specific color scheme going with your printer. And here they are next to a metal knurled knob that came on one of my guitars. My design is a bit thick and juicy, but they work all the same. You could change around, add more or less in the pattern, and even make the V-cut less. Like I did one and a half millimeters, you could do one and, you know, just get a different design. It's really easy once you get the hang of it and do it a few times. So don't be afraid to just get in there and mess around. Alright, that's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. I appreciate you tuning in. Catch you in the next one. And as always, have the best day ever. I thought I was going to throw my mouse. This is bundled up socks.